Okay, so this week we're talking about anime withdrawals, anime manga video game withdrawals, and what we go to first whenever we can. And really, I, I don't, I guess I don't really experience that so much anymore. Um, there have been times where I'll be at work and something will remind me of Death Note, or something will remind me of Double O, or Wing, um, or Endless Waltz. I, I, I don't want to separate Wing and Endless Waltz because they're so awesome together, but this sometimes I'll be reminded of Endless Waltz versus being reminded of Wing. Um, and I'll kind of sit there and go, huh, I really kind of want to watch that now. So I guess I do get it a little bit, but I, I guess it doesn't like overtake my life at all, really. The only time I can think of that I was nearly driven completely insane was when I was waiting for this, then this, then this. Waiting for the rest of Double O was painful. I had never watched a Gundam series other than Seed, which I really never really got into, where I actually had to wait for a time period between episodes. I guess I did for G Gundam too. That and back then it was every single night that it was coming on versus once a week. And by the time Seed came out, it was coming out once a week for new episodes, and then old episodes were on throughout the week, so I kind of was able to make up for it. But I, I waited like four months between season two, part one, and season two, part two. And season two, part one ended in such a way that I, I had to know what was going to happen next, because there there is quite a twist at the end of season two, part one. And so I, I had to see what was going to happen, and I was kind of going insane. And then it came out, and I ordered it, it was on back order, and then I waited for a very long time for it to come out, and I was just kind of going crazy, and I wanted to punch right stuff in the face. And I actually did send them a really nasty email at one point, because I, I, I was just taking my anger out on the fact that I wanted to see it, and I couldn't see it. As for what I go to first, it's usually anime, because manga, I, I mean, I love my manga and I love reading manga, but I, I do that so slowly and I do it so rarely that, you know, it's not like I sit down, I'll sit down and watch a volume of anime, but I never really anymore sit down to read a volume of manga. I've kind of gotten myself to a point where I can read manga during my breaks at work. That became very apparent when, when the fifth volume of Rene came out this last month and I, I still haven't read it. Which is crazy to me because I was like desperate to buy it and then once I had it, I, I, not that I don't want to read it, I do want to read it, but I, I've just conditioned myself at this point now through having my job that I just read manga during my breaks and I've been able to maintain that. And I will read Rene as soon as I'm done with the first Inuyasha Viz Big volume, which, which will probably be over the next couple of days, but I'll finish that, so that's exciting, and then I'll move on to Rene, and, and then Future Diary, and just, oh, God. Anyway, so I guess I go to anime first, and it's, it's kind of whatever I'm in the mood to watch. Like, for example, last week, I was talking about Death Note, and for some reason, I just felt like I needed to watch Death Note. As soon as I was done with making my video, I watched the first volume of Death Note, and, and now I'm, I'm on volume not, or eight. So yeah, you know, I, I, I go to anime first because that's usually what reminds me of something and then I'll usually go, hey, I want to watch that. And then as soon as I'm available to, I do. So Psychic Kid, we will see you tomorrow.